There we go, we got Volcanion up in here. We got Hoopa up in here too. She put up the lights drinking in the shed. She had dinner ready when I got home. Generally, she is she, she psychic, hyperspace home, shadow ball, nasty plot. My volcano knows explosion, flamethrower, steam eruption, and hydro pump. She was a top country girl, and I was top country bloke. They love the street, they like the knees up on a Saturday night. But all too soon, each partner discovered Catherine's secret. An illness called Borderline Personality Disorder. Borderline personality di disorder is kind of a catch-all term for a condition that manifests itself, the individual, and it's usually women, it can be men. Um, very moody, tremendous mood swings. Former FBI criminal profile, Candace DeLong, says sufferers can turn quickly from lovers to fighters. They feel slighted when there was no slight. They are prone to being very suspicious that their partner is cheating on them. Everything reflects back to somebody is taking advantage of me and I must do something about it. John Price usually wanted to stormy Catherine, knowing the loving Catherine would soon return. Then one day, his partner went over the line. Threatening his job at the coal mine with a home video. She filmed the, the contents of his garden shed, and in Pisces' garden shed was a first aid kit from the mine, which he'd allegedly stolen. The pair had argued over money. Catherine wanted revenge. She spoke the video to the mine boss, suggesting John was a thief. The most important thing in most men's lives is their job. And that is the one area that the woman may feel she can mess this up for him all the better. John was fired. He threw her out of the house and said he'd never have her back. Unfortunately, he had her back within six months before the captain turned on the sweet love inside again and uh, got back in there somehow. I think that um, more so, there was more so a physical attraction uh, towards her than, than uh, anything else. One man knew what John Price was going through. Well, her mother said to me, just after the first got married, she said, you're going to watch this one. If you do the wrong thing, by, she will kill you. Catherine's first husband, David Kellett. And I both of us just one of those things that mother say and uh, it didn't really dawn on me that for one day she would go out the edge. In late 1999, David and John met to compare notes. I knew John Price when um, he said to me he wants to get out of a relationship but he's scared to get out. And I said, well, these days, these days all these uh, domestic violence, all these things, each other, whatever. And he was just so scared, he was almost shaving. He, he was really scared. Little did either man know, Catherine would soon commit one of Australia's most shocking crimes. We don't have a lot of women out there for her, but that's where she is. And she holds Bible studies, Bible sessions within the home of death row. In 1990, Journalist Martha Quillen found the story of her career in North Carolina. People thought she was such a fine person and how could she have done this? And yet the reality of what she had done was so brutal and so cruel that people were just fascinated with this dual personality in this one woman. To the world, Blanche Taylor Moore was a caring Christian. 
a compassionate woman, led by spiritual commitment. So when her boyfriend, Raymond Reed, was hospitalized, no one was surprised at Blanche's constant care. She was sort of beloved, I think, on the floor where he stayed, and the nurses testified that they thought she was a wonderful person and very caring, and that, you know, Raymond was very lucky to have someone like that come into see him. Raymond was diagnosed with Guillain-Barre syndrome. Guillain-Barre syndrome is also known as French polio. It is a autoimmune disorder. The symptoms are muscle weakness, uh, nerve tingling, uh, progressive fatigue, and eventually may even lead to difficulty breathing. Despite the best care, Raymond was destined to die. Oh, it's a pinch. Never caught one of them yet. died and was revived. His, his heart failed and he had kidney failure and died and they revived him. Several times, Raymond died of clinical death, losing heartbeat and respiration. But each time, expert medical staff pulled him back from the break. Each time, 